Welcome back again to the channel. On this video, we're gonna discuss something really simple. Let me get the eraser. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we want to see some pattern regarding a number that can be expressed as a sum of two squares. So let's list several of them. One square plus two squared is five. One squared plus three squared is ten. Two squared plus three squared is four plus nine, thirteen. And then three squared plus four squared is twenty-five. We can take the same number as well. For example, 2 squared plus 2 squared, which is 8. So, what we are going to do with them, so, we are going to multiply the number that can be expressed as a sum of 2 squares. Let's say 5 and 10. If we multiply 5 and 10, we have 50, but 50 is 5 squared plus 5 squared. How about 5 and 13? 5 times 13 is 65. Can we express 65 as the sum of two squares? 49 plus 16, I guess? 7 squared plus 4 squared. Okay. How about 25 times 8? 25 times 8 is 100. You can guess, right? What are the two squares that we need in order the sum of them equals 200. 10 squared plus 10 squared. So this early observation led us to have a natural question. If we have two numbers that can be expressed as the sum of two squares, how about their product? Is it always true that their product can be also expressed as the sum of two squares. So, in other word, if we have a squared plus b squared times c squared plus d squared, is there any, are there e f such that this is equal to that one. Right? If we can always express E and F in terms of A, B, C, D, then the statement that for any two numbers that can be expressed as the sum of two squares, then the product is also can be expressed as the sum of two squares. Okay? So we're going to try to solve this. We are trying to find E and F such that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay. Now, in order to have this identity, we're going to use some knowledge of complex number. Nothing fancy. So remember that in the complex number, we have some imaginary number that we call it as i. And the property of i is that i squared is equal to negative 1. And then, if we multiply, we just do as usual. Just use some distributive property. A times C, and then A times DI, and then we multiply BI and C, become BCI, and then BI times DI, BDI squared, by I, but I squared is negative 1, so this is minus. BD. So plus I times AD plus this. Okay? So this is in general how we multiply two complex numbers. Right? In particular, if we multiply A plus BI and A minus BI, this will be called as the conjugate of A plus BI. Then you can verify 
that the product of the two is indeed a squared plus b squared. That reminds us of that expression. Okay? So then, the left hand side can be written as a squared plus b squared times c squared plus d squared is a plus bi times a minus bi. That's for a squared plus b squared. And then for c squared plus d squared, we can also do the same. We have c plus bi times c minus bi. Okay? Now we will swap the two between this and that. So we have a plus bi times c plus di. a minus bi times c minus di. And then we multiply these two together. Okay? So what do we get? AC minus BD. Okay? And then the one that contains I is AD plus BC. Okay? On the other hand, it will be easy to verify that the result will be AC minus BD minus I AD plus BC. Okay? But if we call this guy as X and this guy as Y, this is X, this is Y. So this is something of this type, X plus YI times X minus YI. And the result is X squared plus y squared, where the x is ac minus bd, and then the y is ad plus bc squared. So in general, we conclude that the product between a squared plus b squared and c squared plus d squared is nothing but this. Actually, when we already written this identity, we can verify it directly by multiplying out everything on the left hand side and on the right hand side. And then we compare that the two are indeed the same, right? So, since we have this identity, then our conjecture, which is that the product of two numbers that can be expressed as the sum of two squares, is also can be written as the sum of two squares, right? Okay, so this observation is is not a special observation, but but something that true in general. Okay, so that's all for now. Something very simple, very light. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. See you again on the next video.